First of all, the movie does a great job of really giving you a visceral feel for what and it was for like. your mother. I can't yeah. imagine. Well, now there, you've hit the nail on the head there because uh, as kids, we they our parents sheltered us from from the danger, right? I mean, we were excited, but we weren't scared. And how and how you know, my mother uh, hid that from us. Uh, just baffles me and, and it's a wonderment. Really. I, I was saying, you know, 24 gold medals or whatever. I'm, I'm trying to think of the most incredible human achievements that, that we, we think of legendary people uh, uh, about. And, and being the first human being to set foot on the moon, there's, there's, there's nothing that, that rises to that, does it? And, and you're, that's why I would think this auction, that these prices are pretty cheap for things. Well, I guess um, for me, it was a great American accomplishment. I saw it. I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. know. You guys, have you guys, yeah. have you guys? Uh, we weren't alive no. at the time. I mean, I've no. seen. Right, <laughs> but to be, to, I, I mean, there there, to have, having watched it live was something that uh, you know that, that is etched into my memory, like anybody else that saw it. You know, yeah. for all of us who were alive then, it was the one time, at least in my lifetime, that I remember that I think everybody in the whole world came together and smiled for something that was good. Yeah. You don't see that anymore. We're often, my brother and I are often approached by people um, from around the world who were inspired by that and it motivated them to just be better at whatever it was that they cared about. You know, it might not be science, it might, they might be a doctor or a lawyer or a, a ditch digger and they wanted to be better I, because I, of it. When we lost him recently, I mean, I got emotional about it and, and I, the actual, I tr I've tried to explain to my kids the, the, the lunar lander when it was landing module on the way down if you lost, if you used too much fuel looking for a place to land, you weren't going to take off. Does yeah. the movie do that justice? Because your father, uh, as a pilot, had to take over manually and, and had to decide, I'm going to find it. And it, he was just cool. I mean, I would have, I don't know. What <laughs> it, well, that it, was his he, training, right? I mean, he'd been doing that. Sort that of was thing his training. So it's, so it's that simple. But yeah. he found a place where and was able to land and he had like five seconds to spare or something. Is that in the movie as well? That is in the movie. Yeah. So one of the things I'm curious about is given this sort of shared experience that the country had at that point and how inspirational it was, how you think about government funding for space travel versus uh, the private funding that's been taking place now and sort of what that all looks like? Well, you know, my dad testified in, uh, in front of Congress in 2010, I think. Um, and uh, at that time, I think he felt uh, very strongly that, that we had, we, the United States, had, had lost our way and we were basically on the verge of canceling a major program and that's what happened. I don't think that he imagined that folks like, uh, you know, that Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk would, would have the kind of capital and the, and the drive to, um, to be able to fund the kind of things that they're doing now. And, you know, and, my, and, and I'm, I'm great fans of the work that they're doing because, as Jeff put it, um, you know, he won the lottery right. with Amazon and he wants to take those lottery winnings and put them towards something that... Is that the preferable important. way to do it, you think? I think it's a. I think it an takes both. Question. You know, I think I think uh, space exploration going forward requires a lot of different types of vehicles and a lot of different types of technologies. And in order to do the kind of things that we want to do, it's going to take a uh, a global effort. What do you, What do you think about the new space program that the president has proposed? Is that a good thing to get people inspired? I absolutely. I I do. Yeah. I think it's. Um, it's it's a it's a great direction, and I hope that we pursue it, or continue to pursue it. The um, the auction items. I want the flag. Uh, it wasn't the actual flag that, that was on, but it was it, it traveled with. The, I can't believe that's only. Uh, it starts at seventy five. It's going to go for a lot more than seventy five thousand. Yeah, I, it? I think it's going to sell for a lot more than seventy five thousand. We had a smaller flag that sold for about one hundred and seventy five thousand at one of our previous auctions. Um, How many did they take? They took, you know, these are, uh, most of them are small, but there are a few larger size ones. And, yeah, this is the largest uh, one that's come up. And uh, I, I suppose they took, you know, like this, they're all silk and very lightweight, and that was an important part of anything that you would take to the moon needed to be lightweight because weight was a huge factor. I mean, the, the, the lamb was like tinfoil. I mean, that's another thing that used to get me too, right? I mean, if you put your, if you were like, put your, you put your elbow, elbow through, through it, it's like all over, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the whole thing just, just gives me the, the, the creeps and it, it makes me wonder what kind of men um, were able uh, to, to, to achieve things like that. It, it's mind boggling. I, I, and yeah, it's your dad. 
Yeah, I you're mean, used to. You're just like, yeah, I don't know. Well, <laughs> no, I mean, it's men, men that uh, that wanted to serve their country. Yeah. Men that wanted to uh, that you know work really hard to to make sure that they did their part, uh, that they didn't make a mistake that would cost the mission, uh, or cost, or even worse, you know, right, cost someone's life. More about lives. that, more about the collective, uh, you know, the, the collective mission that, yeah. that they were all involved with. What what else are, do you think would be the most popular? Well. The flag is going to appeal to flag collectors, Americana collectors. You've got the Newsweek magazine cover. Great. Neil Armstrong yeah. was on the cover of Newsweek magazine. This issue happens to be his own personal copy that has the address label on the bottom oh, to wow. N.A. Armstrong at their home address. That's pretty cool. It it's great. You know, Heritage Auctions has sold astronaut memorabilia for more than 20 astronauts and their families. But the Neil Armstrong sale really is the holy grail. Greg, who ends up being the buyers of these things? Because when we talk about art auctions, oftentimes it's a Chinese buyer. It's someone from the Middle East. Do you think that this will be more highly bid up by Americans just because of the patriotic nature of it? Or is this something that, just like every other auction, has a global interest? Yeah, great question. There is a huge interest worldwide. We were talking, Rick and I were at lunch yesterday, about the interest in the movie from Australia, from Japan. The great thing about the way the auction is conducted is that no matter where you are in the world, people can go on to HA.com and they can see every one of the lots that's being sold and they can bid on it in real time, just like they were at the auction in Dallas on November 1st and 2nd. You can bid on it. I've pre-approved your credit. <laughs> I know, but I want the flag. You, uh, you can get it. You just have to bid a lot. Uh, I want to tell you about this. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a piece of the propeller from the original Wright Flyer. So the very first flights that Wil Wilbur and Orville made in 1903 uh, were made with an airplane that had this as part of the propeller. And um, they made about four flights that day, the very first powered flights. And uh, then, they, then they left probably to get something to eat and you know, to relax and maybe celebrate a little bit. They came back and the airplane, you know, a gust of wind had turned the airplane upside down, the, had torn the wing, had broken the propeller, so they had to load it up and take it back to the shop. But in, uh, in early 69, um, the Air Force reached out to Dad and asked him if he would be willing to take pieces of the propeller <laughs> and, a, and a piece of fabric from, that, from, that, uh, from the wing with him on the flight. And uh, we have this the letter, and the letter says, uh, if when you, you know, when you get back, if you just return half of this to us, you, you can keep the other half of the of And the that's pieces. the other half? Well, this is one of, uh, one of a number of pieces of propeller that we have in the, in the collection, as, as wow. well as pieces of the, of the wing. And there, you know, there was only 60 years that separated the two flights. those two flights. That's unbelievable. And yeah. it is unbelievable how much you know, we accomplish when we put our minds to it. Where Greg, when does the auction start? Uh, the auction goes online on October 12th, the same day the movie comes out. Mm -hmm. One of the interesting things, a little bit morbid maybe, is this is what's called an insurance cover, and astronauts couldn't get life insurance. <laughs> who would, mm -hmm. who would right. write life insurance right. for them? So Mark's dad and the other astronauts took these postal covers and they signed them, and they left a stack of them at home for their family in case they didn't come back from the mission so they could sell them and get a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're, you're okay with the with the, the part of the movie that doesn't show the flag on 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 the moon. Right? Oh yeah, I, I think you need to see the movie. There's there's American symbology throughout the movie. It's uh, it's extremely. But your dad patriotic. was certainly a, a huge patriot, though. Oh yes, he, indeed. He, he, he wore, served in the navy, flag on his uh, arm in the, the entire War. time. You think he'd be okay? Aldrin said that yeah, that's not the Neil he knew that it wouldn't want that flag up there. I want people to see the movie because I've I, I've seen it a number of times and I and I think. It's very authentic, and they've just done a. That is what job. I remember, though. Yeah, well, I mean, it's one of the things I, think, I remember. I, I would I think, have taken five. Say, I don't understand, but a know. lot, of, a lot of people do, Joe. Yeah, uh, but um, I mean, I remember that more than any other part of, of the, the whole experience. I remember the stepping on to the moon. No, I know and the walking and right. the bounce and the bounce and the golf club. Uh, that was that was very difficult to swing. Yeah. Uh, in the in the suit, which we have a suit over there too. I don't know if that'll fit me though, Andrew. That looks. Uh, he was taller than. Did, did you check that out? Maybe that's pretty cool. Good looking. I think it would fit Andrew. I think it would I mean, fit I could get in there. Here's a, yeah. here's a picture of uh, Neil in the center there wearing the, the flight suit. Wow. You can, that's right. You can speak to who's in the, who else is in the picture. Well, good luck. Yeah. I know a lot of it goes to charity as, as well, from that's proceeds right. from, uh, from the auction. And uh, I'm, I'm excited about uh, reliving that, that whole experience because it, it's one of, those, you know, one of those moments in your life that you never forget. Thank you. Thanks, for uh, thanks very much.